tell you one more interesting thing regarding uh, attendance uh, nowadays online classes are taking place uh, regularly if you are taking attendance on excel it will be really good uh, sometimes teachers are taking attendance on word microsoft word so it is not worthy for attendance microsoft word it is not made for that use excel only so i have written the attendance of the students here and i have written the name just to save time so first i'll uh, calculate the total how many days are there in total so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 
this is the first step but you can see the columns are not formatted well so i'll click again and this time i'll click on paste special and then we have on this right side this portion we have column widths only so i'll click on this and press ok now you see the columns are adjusted automatically now i can easily uh, delete this attendance and i'll change this august to september you can also give this sheet a name double click on it and then you can write september here also so in this way you can uh, change sheet name also rename the sheet also so now we have all these things now for example uh, i will delete these dates also because these are previous dates if you want more columns to be inserted so uh, it depends on how many columns you want so i'll show you how to add the columns so for example i'm selecting these uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 columns right clicking and clicking on insert and then uh, there is entire columns so i'll click here so you see the columns are added so you you can just write the dates here and uh, if you want more column you can uh, add it in the end so now i'm writing the september dates without the saturdays and sundays now uh, you will mark the present so if you uh, you see when you mark the present here accordingly it will be calculating it here so to save the time i'll just copy the previous data and paste it here i'll paste more data so my uh, most of the cells are filled let's say on 29 30 there was no attendance so i'm leaving it so now i have the total attendance here now i i have to do a slight change here i have to insert a new column here so i'll right click here why i need a, another column uh, here because uh, in august there is a total i will now i will delete this percentage because i don't want this percentage column here because uh, i have now uh, attendance for more than uh, one month so i just need the total here on august in august so we have total uh, 14 days here now i'll click on september now i'll count the uh, days here also first so we have total 20 days here so i will uh, rename this as 20 okay so uh, we have august attendance and september attendance which is uh, total you can write it here august is 14 and september is 20 so 14 plus 20 you can write here 14 plus 20 so it mean total attendance is 34 this will uh, be helpful when we were dividing uh, for the per, uh, percentage so now i right click here and i insert a column and i'll name it as grand total or whatever you wish so now i want to add uh, the august attendance and uh, september attendance uh, so i can find the total so i'll press equal to i'll write as you and sum open the bracket then i'll go to august and click on this first uh, cell so i got the address also that august r4 is the address now i'll press plus here because i want to add it i'll click on september again now i'll click uh, on this cell again the total the first one which i have got and i'll close the bracket and press enter so now you can see is the total of uh, august and september and i'll dra drag and drop here and now you can see all the attendance here to just to verify and check i can see in august it was 13 days and in september and 19 days so the total is 32 let's make this ap and change its color also so now you see 20 and 13 is 33 now it's easy to uh, add it so that's why i've changed now uh, we have the total we have the grand total now we want to uh, find the percentage because this percentage was applied on august only so this part we need to uh, make some changes in the formula so i'm just deleting it now i'll tell you how to find a percentage so i'll press equal to i'll click on the grand total i'll divide by the total which which i calculated 34 and then multiply by 100 so now 97 is the percentage and same thing i'll do i'll drag and drop here and yes you are done with it now you have the percentage and just of all this is 100% because it's 34 it's all present abdurrahman all present here uh, it's on 
seed number four, and uh, here you can see the total randomness. So in this way, you can uh, easily find the percentages without the hassle of calculating uh, numbers and things, and you can do it easily. So this is how you can uh, mark the attendance in Excel. It's quite easy and super fast method and errorless method. So I hope you have understood. I hope this video is really helpful for you and you have understood all the concepts well.